How to fix Windows 10 stuck on the restart screen. Workaround, force your PC to reboot, this helps install downloaded updates successfully. Note, you may lose some unsaved files, such as Word document, post, and alike. Solution 1, Step 1, disconnect all the unnecessary external devices connected to the computer, except the mouse and the keyboard, and restart your computer. Refer to the below image. Step 2, change account ownership login with Microsoft account. If Microsoft account is your administrator account, check if you have access changing ownership. If not, log in to local administrator account and check. Step 3, up. the device drivers on the computer for all the devices installed on your computer. 3.1. Check in Windows updates if any driver updates are available. If so, install those items as the admin user. Head to Windows settings and choose update and security. Now click on check for updates button on the right pane, to receive a fresh list of updates and then install all the updates listed there. For any issues while installing Windows updates, you may also refer to the following guide at https colon slash slash gool slash w7bbb1. If no driver updates are available via Windows update, then you may install them for all the devices on the computer from the computer manufacturer's website, S, instead. 3.2 Go to the computer manufacturer's website and search for the latest Windows 10 drivers available for all the devices on the computer and then install them by following the official slash on page instructions given in the website. Solution 2, start your computer in Windows safe mode and then perform clean boot. See more info at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash fdxgdp. Note, reset your computer to start as normal after troubleshooting. If you are able to boot, you recheck your system and install all of the Windows updates and device drivers. Solution 3, run si maintenance troubleshooter. Note, you need to click on advanced option and check apply repairs automatically option. Solution 4. Automatic repairing your windows. Make the best of the option automatic repair under Windows recovery environment. See useful info at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash jz77 foo. If the automatic repair did not work for you, perform system restore later. Solution 5, step 1, try connecting to different video outputs on the PC, A, to a different adapter, from integrated graphics to a discrete card or vice versa. B, to a different output, from HDMI to DVI, display port to VGA, or any other combination. If the issue persists then follow the below step. Step 2, try booting your PC into safe mode with networking or the enable low resolution video mode. 2.1 look in. Advanced boot options, then safe mode with networking, or low resolution video. 2.2. Open device manager and look for display adapters. 2.2.1 if you see two items under display adapters, disable integrated video card, e.g. Intel HD 4000 or AMD Radeon HD 4200, and restart. Try vice versa if it does not work. 2.2.2 If you see one item under display adapters, roll back the driver or uninstall the display adapter in device manager, and enable the option to delete driver software. If the issue persists then, check the PC or display adapter in the manufacturer's site for an updated driver. Other voices, 1.
Turn on verbose group policy logging. To do that, create a registry key at hklm backslash software backslash microsoft backslash windows nt backslash current version backslash diagnostics. Underneath that key, create a rec underscore d word value named run diagnostic logging global and set the value to 1. Warning, please do export current registry settings first. 2. Afterwards, the restart screen will disappear and be re If your Windows 10 session gets stuck during a system restart, press Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete. Afterwards, the restart screen will disappear and be replaced by the Task Manager, WTM. If the screen persists, manually terminate process of failed program using WTM. 3. Try holding the power button down for 5 to 15 seconds even after it shuts off. 4. Restart Windows Update Service using Command Prompt. On the lower left corner of the screen, right click and select Command Prompt, Admin. Now, run the following commands one by one. Net stop wowserve cd% system root% ren software distribution sd.old net start wowserve.